All right, guys, so we've been out riding the cycle. Decided to uh, take a little break and talk about some everyday carry kind of stuff. So I wanted to just introduce you to this pack. Now this pack is called the Flat Pack, and this is from Haley Strategic Partners. I'm not gonna do a full review of the pack because they already did it on their YouTube channel. You can check that out anytime you like. I thought I'd just open it up and show you the contents of mine uh, for the sake of this video. So uh, we'll start on this outside right here. So first thing I carry in here, a major part of everyday carry is a, is a sidearm. Uh, for me, it's just a tool of the trade, and I think everyone should carry it. This channel is not going to be about that, though. Um, Glock 19 makes a great concealed carry gun. Also, SIG P365, that's what this is. So you're going to see some things as far as that's concerned. This is just you know my pack for when I'm out and about riding on the cycle, and I just need something uh, with me in terms of gear. So one of the main things that I really love about this pack is that it's it's small, it's very flat, thin, it just fits nicely on your back. You've got a lot of uh, a lot of webbing. Uh, you can attach, you can wear it over the top of body armor if you're that kind of guy uh, or gal. And um, it fits up to a uh, 100 liter um, hydration bladder inside of it, fully adjustable, nice wide straps, uh, just a really good pack. But what I kind of like most about it is the fact that it just opens up nice and flat. So you just take this thing and you can open it completely up like this and uh, it's a pretty sweet deal. So um, I like they sell these uh, clear pouches that go inside of here. It's all just Velcro. Uh, on the back of here and so you can just take these pouches and fit them wherever you like. I, I want to get one more but um, actually now that I've got the med pouch tucked in here I may not. I may just stick with the three because then this space right here ends up being the space for my med pouch. So the med pack is going to be one of the main things we're talking about. This bag is made by VanQuest. Um, I had never heard of the company until recently and a buddy of mine uh, Paul told me all about it and uh, I decided I would like to have another med kit to put inside of this. So I went with that and I'm going to show you the contents of that in a minute. But a few other things that I have in here. So this pouch is comms communication. Right? I just used the Baofeng um, UV5R V2. Now these are ham ready. I am not ham certified. But, um, you know, admittedly, um, and yell at me if you want in the comments, but I'm one of those guys that uh, <laughs> if the crap hits the fan, end of the world type of scenario, I'm not going to care about the rules. I'm going to use it anyway. Okay, so this pack is all uh, firearm related. Again, we're not going to discuss that all that much. Um, this pack has got a little bit more, this little pouch. So this key right here, um, if you're not familiar with them, uh, is a pretty handy key to have. Now, guys who know, they know, and uh, you probably already carry one. If you don't, this little guy is the exact right size uh, connectors or sockets or whatever you want to call it for turning on and off um, public or city uh, water supplies like spigots. Um, nothing nothing heinous or anything like that but just if if um, you're in a city you're trying to escape and evade or bug out or whatever and um, you you want to be able to get some some clean water out of one of those spigots that they sometimes lock up uh, this gets you into that these are readily available you can buy these uh, on Amazon so it's it's not illegal to own those um, another thing that I carry with me and have had some training and practice in is lock picking tools. Uh, again, depending on where you live, this may or may not be considered uh, illegal. Uh, here in Missouri, this is completely okay for me to own this, and uh, so I practice lock picking and, and things like that. And I've actually gotten myself back into my house several times when I have uh, accidentally locked myself out. So I really think that's a, a, a good kit to, to have. Um, just a good thing to have with you. Uh, I've also got this um, small escape and evasion type kit or survival kit from uh, Imminent Threat Solutions, ITS Tactical website. You can go on and check out their thing. But I'm not going to go through all this, but um, there's some, uh, some cord in there that uh, can be used uh, to, uh, to saw through restraints and things like that. This little guy here is just a, a small... Um, you know, blade that you can use to cut things, or a, 
a saw that can be used um, to cut metal. It's kind of a disposable, one-use kind of deal, but you know, when you need it, you need it, right? And there's some, uh, some little shims in there that can help uh, with picking locks, and there's a tiny compass that I just dropped and will probably lose. There's also a tiny um, handcuff key uh, in the shape of the ITS skull. So I carry all these things, um, you know, with me on a regular basis. They're just always in my kit, just in case I happen to need them. And, you know, if I needed to, to ditch this bigger bag for whatever reason uh, and just carry a smaller bag, I could just rip one of these pouches right out and be carrying a lot smaller uh, kit and a lot less weight. So there you have that. So let's get into the med kit. That's one of the main things I wanted to talk about. So I'm going to take the Haley Strategic Flat Pack here again and move it out of the way. So the med kit from VanQuest. Now there are a few things that you probably should carry in a med kit uh, in addition to what I've already got. Now this is not complete. I don't have some of the basics for basic first aid. This is more of a blowout kit or a trauma kit um, just for one person. Uh, and you'll see the contents inside. Now the first thing obviously that you should do is get some quality training um, in how to use this kind of stuff. I can highly recommend um, Caleb Causey and Lone Star Medics. You can look up their website. So let's get into the inside of this. So first off, pouch on the outside, which is nice. Uh, you can attach to Molly on the back. But again, I like things that just easily you can just kind of pull and, and splay open. So of course, right on top, rubber gloves for personal protection against you know fluids bodily fluids and that sort of thing you got to protect your felt yourself first if you're gonna try to help others so we've got that we've got a soft t wide um, this is the latest gen of this for a tourniquet uh, highly recommend uh, this kind of a tourniquet with uh, the metal windlass instead of the plastic one so that you can really get some torque on there and not have to worry about breaking things. So a tourniquet is a great thing to have uh, in a kit for major bleeding. We've also got a uh, emergency bandage trauma wound dressing. Um, this is a six inch and uh, should be you know plenty for wrapping up uh, one severe bleed. And I've also got some shears in here for cutting clothing if you need to access you know a gunshot wound or, or something like that and I've got a quick clot uh, clotting gauze that you would put uh, you know on top of that wound or pack it into the wound rather and we've got some hyphen uh, chest seals if you're not familiar with these like pretty much any time I mean generally speaking and there's a lot more training that obviously goes into this stuff but basically anytime there's a hole uh, in a person uh, you put you put one and it's in their their main chest cavity you put one of these on and I have a two pack because if there's a hole in the front there might be a hole in the back right and so that kind of thing helps seems like common sense but anyway that for right now is all that is in my med kit I'm also going to put some things like ibuprofen and some uh, you know things into these little slots here little pill bottles like some ibuprofen we'll put some band-aids in there and those sorts of things so this channel guys everyday ready uh, we just want to be prepared for whatever life throws at us whether it's uh, an adventure of our choosing or unfortunately an emergency that we did not choose we still got to be ready so you know good gear um, like the Haley strategic flat pack um, you know good med kit uh, they can get again this bag is from VanQuest uh, communications bug out stuff just basic survival um, things help keep you alive guys thanks for watching today hopefully you appreciated the the video please take a minute to subscribe and like and share tell all your friends about it so I can get past that evil 1,000 subscribers because at that point uh, you have a lot more freedoms on YouTube with how to share and they'll start noticing you and, and sharing your videos for you and, and things like that. Also monetization happens at that point which I wouldn't mind getting a, a little bit of money for these videos so that would be sweet. Guys thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for me and we'll see you in the next one.